I've always believed that you need to network, you need to reach out and meet other people, uh, you need to get acquainted with other businesses and what they do. And I think the Chamber has provided some wonderful opportunities and continues to provide wonderful opportunities in that regard. During the 1920s, 11 different bureaus were created by the Chamber in order to foster networking and communications within the Council Bluffs business community. The creation of these bureaus allowed members to explore areas of interest and create growth for those areas. I think uh, certainly the Chamber of Commerce has provided the leadership and planning in conjunction with the city and the schools that have allowed the city to move forward in a unified effort. And I think that's important that you have unified efforts as opposed to different people coming at it from different ways. It's a much more efficient way of doing it and I think it is much better for the uh, city and the community to have that unified effort. Today, the Chamber provides leading edge programs and services to its members, new and existing businesses and industries to make a positive impact on the Council Bluffs community. Certainly the banking industry benefits by having a, a growing community, a vibrant community and a positive community and all of those things entered into my desire to be a part of the chamber and I kind of worked my way through the chairs up to being president of the chamber. One thing that I hope that we did is we did a lot of planning and hopefully we laid some of the groundwork for the later successes. And I think one of the biggest changes that Council Bluffs has undergone is we think better of ourselves. We have a very positive attitude. We don't uh, feel like we're second to anybody and we have a can-do attitude and I think that has been a, a great change in our city. With its roots held in the late 19th century, Jenny Edmondson Memorial Hospital has had landmark developments which mirror that of the Council Bluffs Chamber. I've always seen the Chamber of Commerce as having two primary purposes. One, the obvious success of the business community within your community. And secondly, to improve and strengthen the community as providing an environment for its membership. And uh, the hospital, of course, has uh, always have and always will have a significant concern for its community that it serves. I think it's a very good opportunity to look for avenues and ways to connect with your community and the base that, that you're going to serve or they're going to utilize your services. The Chamber is an excellent way to do that. It provides many different avenues to connect uh, and make a difference and it gives you lots of leads lots of different uh, uh, individuals that can assist you in, in developing your business as you grow. Since 1886, Ginny Edmondson Memorial Hospital has grown from a small cottage on William Street to Southwest Iowa's only accredited cancer center and the first in the area to open a breast health center. I believe it is important that we provide excellent medical care and as this community grows and as medicine changes and the community changes, we need to work together on how do we provide value to the business community in that medical care. And by being a, a provider of value, that attracts businesses, which allows you to expand and grow in what you're doing. For 100 years, Jenny Edmondson Memorial Hospital and the Council Bluffs Chamber have grown together to become places that people in Southwest Iowa can rely on. Through their partnership, both plan to continue to advance through the next 100 years. To know nothing of the past is to know little of the present and have no conception of the future. This history and this accomplishments of the past are vital to the development of your community in the future if you can learn from them. And I think the Chamber can play and does play a significant role in making that possible. Throughout their history, the Chamber of Commerce has aided in the growth, development, and the lasting impact that small businesses have made on the Council Bluffs community. One small business that has extensive history in Council Bluffs is Ord Ross Drug. Ord Ross opened its doors in Council Bluffs in 1908 on 16th Avenue, around the same time the Council Bluffs Chamber was getting its start. Well, Mr. Ord started the business here in 1907. and. Uh, it's been quite a place here on 16th Avenue. This was the pharmacy and the drugstore. That's a picture of Mr. Ord right there. That was drugs, cigars, paint, and glass store that we had. 
And that goes back 1930, October the 5th. Over the past 100 years, the Chamber's core mission has always been to enhance the economic growth and prosperity of its members and the Council Bluffs area. By ensuring that local businesses prosper, Council Bluffs will continue to grow into a stronger community. I think the core of, of, this, of the Chamber really should be you know, continue to stay involved in the community, continue to recognize and identify the needs uh, that our business community has. And if you can do that and you can keep it to address those needs, I think you'll continue to make the economy strong. The business community is really the basis for most of the things that happen here. And they create the jobs, they create the tax base, um, and they create the momentum that the community needs to move forward. Recently, Ord Ross has been honored as a 100-year business by the Council Bluffs Area Chamber of Commerce. Customer service and a positive impact on the community has been a mutual goal that has enabled both to withstand the test of time. That's what we call service. And that's what service is, is helping the people that come in and trade with you. And that's why we're still here, because we do help anybody that needs help just like what the Chamber does. The Chamber does the same thing. They give service to all the people that belong to the Chamber. And I think the Chamber has done a wonderful job for all the business in our whole city. In 1916, when the Chamber first began, Council Bluffs was experiencing a push of city planning and beautification. Both members and leaders of the community were tailoring the city for growth. A history of poor water conditions, fires, and flooding encouraged change as the chamber worked to make Council Bluffs the best town in Iowa. When I first was elected, uh, uh, you know, we were trying to make a change in the community. I relied on the chamber a lot at that time to help get some direction and, and support. The Council Bluffs Chamber has always been, you know, was based on business and business development. You know, you look up and down the street, uh, you know, the Chamber's got its fingerprint on each one of them. The Chamber, that's been the, the cheerleader for businesses, and you have to have good board members and people who care. The Chamber began as an assembly of committees to better Council Bluffs, with a focus on developing the leadership and backbone of the town. As the city has improved, so has its leadership. I think the core of the chamber is the involvement of the, of the membership of the chamber, the leadership of that chamber and the leadership of community working together, making sure that they identify and address the needs that uh, have to be addressed in order for the community to move forward. If there's one thing that I think needs to be paramount no matter in your, in your first year or in your hundredth year is to stay in touch with the needs of the community, stay in touch with the needs of the businesses that are there. Uh, because they really provide the background for everything that happens. So as long as we continue to do that, um, I think we'll be okay. The Chamber prospered through the Great Depression by focusing on the betterment of Council Bluffs. Then it created opportunities for those returning from the war by seeking new industries as well as strengthening and expanding the current industries. This is a statement that rings true in today's Chamber efforts. I think the future is very bright in this metro area. I think Council Bluffs and Western Iowa will do extremely well um, as, as the development of this metro area goes. Communities don't grow because of politicians, they grow because of the people that live there and the people uh, that are into businesses. So I, I think it's very bright.